Once you get signed into Clever, you will come to your landing page. Your landing page is called your homeroom. On your homeroom page, you will see your classes or your other pages. The first section is called My Teacher Pages, and these are your classes or pages. The next section is the District Page, and these are apps or resources that your district has favorited. Please note, just because an app is on the District Page, that does not mean the app was purchased for every school. If you're unsure if your school has access to an app, put in a help ticket and we can check for you. This also means that the students will need an account to log in to this app. The great thing about Clever, though, is that it is a single sign-on platform. That means that students no longer need to memorize any login usernames or passwords. They simply log into Clever and everything's ready to go. The next section are pages that have been shared with you. If we go back to my teacher pages, this is where you will be most of the time. Now let's take a look inside one of your pages. To go to a page, simply click on that tile. Inside, you will see that you can share apps, links, and PDFs. To do so, you're going to click on the green add and share button at the bottom right. And then you will choose if you want to add a PDF, a link, or an app. Let's take a look at adding a link first. To add a link, you're going to put in the link. Then give the link a name for your students to see. And choose which category you would like it to go to. Then you can add an icon. Clever gives you a few to choose from, or you can upload another image that you've saved to your computer. After you choose the icon that you'd like to use, you're going to click Add Link. And now we can see that a tile has been added for the link. You can tell that it's a link by the symbol in the upper right hand corner that looks like a link. We can also add an app by going through the same process. So we're going to go to the bottom right and click the Add and Share button and then choose that we want to add an app by choosing that section. In here, I'm going to search for an app. And then select it from the list. If it is available, a button will pop up that says install. You're going to click that to add it to your page. You will select which page you would like to add it to by choosing from the drop down list. And then click allow and continue. You can now see that it has popped up under my newly added section. To move it, you can simply click on it and drag it to the section that you'd like to add it to. After you have your app added and moved to where you would like it, to open the app, you will click on that tile, and it will go through Clever, and then you will need to set it up for your organization. Enter the zip code, and then you will scroll to find your school's name, select that, and then click the purple button, select organization for this app. You may need to choose your role as well. And then now you're set to go. So if I close this, the next time I go into the app again by clicking the tile, it goes through Clever and takes me to my app. Next, I want to add another category to my page. So again, I will click Add and Share. And then the top one is to add a category. So I'll click that. It has added a new category. I'm going to go up here and rename it. Now it's ready for me to add resources. So I'm going to go back down here to the Add and Share button. And this time I would like to add a PDF. So first you're going to upload the file. Give the file a name.
It is in the correct category that I would like it to be in, and now I'm going to choose an icon. This time I'm going to upload an icon. Once I've uploaded the icon, I'm going to choose that icon and click Add PDF. You can now see that my PDF, noted by the red PDF in the upper right corner, has been added under the category Assignments.